So let's talk a little bit about Google's keyword tool. Uh, they've made some changes recently uh, uh, as of this recording. Got rid of uh, the keyword tool. Now if you do a search for keyword tool and click the link to come up to their keyword tool and log in, of course, <laughs> get that done. You then come into the keyword planner. They no longer have the uh, keyword tool available, so now we have to use a keyword planner. A little bit different. Uh, the main tool you would use if uh, if you're going to use this tool just to find uh, some keywords to work with to get an idea of uh, what keyword phrases people are using um, or uh, to find phrases for your net or basically for any keyword research that you might be doing. You're going to use this search for keyword and ad group ideas. Now because this is a Google AdWords tool, they typically uh, push toward the ad group ideas uh, approach because many people who are using this tool are using it to find uh, keyword phrases to use in their ad group. You don't have to uh, do paid advertising, however, to benefit from Google's keyword tools. So here in the Keyword Planner, we can enter some uh, keyword phrases in here. Um, for example, if we wanted to find out how many times people search for wild edibles or wild edible plants, then uh, we can enter those two keywords here. And then Google's going to give us some additional keyword phrases. Now we don't have to put in a, a landing page or a product category here. We could use these instead of the keyword phrase or along with it, but we don't have to. Targeting generally is going to be a, a focused on your you know, current language and area. And we don't need to worry about any of the, the filter options here. We can just click the blue Get Ideas button there. And Google's going to uh, do its research and come up with uh, a series of ideas. Now initially, remember I told you they're using this for Google's AdWords ad group ideas approach. So they're going to default to give you the ad group ideas tab. However, we can click on the keyword ideas tab and get a list of keyword ideas here. And you can see with this search I did, we've got 655 keyword phrases. Now this add all is to add these keyword phrases to my campaigns if I were paying to advertise. If on the other hand I just want this data for general research for a niche or uh, an understanding of what keywords people might use to, to find my product, I would click the download button there and download it as an Excel CSV. Once you click the blue download, it will bring up this little uh, uh, pop-up here saying your download is available. Click to retrieve it. So click that. Now this is going to open a spreadsheet for us that will have the uh, the data that we just found. And so we'll have the spreadsheet available right there, open in um, uh, in Excel. Now we don't necessarily need all of these columns. In fact, uh, generally speaking, we do not need the ad group column. So we can right click on that A, top of that uh, column header, and delete that. Uh, I like to uh, spread that out and open the, the column. So now column A is our keyword column, and we have all our keywords here. Currency is unnecessary, so we can right click and delete that column. The uh, Competition is specific to people uh, who are paying com to compete with this keyword phrase, so that's really not necessary unless we're using the AdWords tool, but for general keyword research it's not necessary. We don't need the uh, uh, average CPC, which stands for cost per click. We don't need the impression share, in account, or in plan, or extracted form. So we can highlight all of those, drag across all those columns, right click, and delete. The only data that's really pertinent is the average monthly searches and the keyword column. Now I like to bold my uh, header column there and then I also like to freeze that column by going to the layout part of uh, Excel and freeze the top row. That way as I scroll I've still got my uh, headers up there so I know what all those uh, areas mean. Now with a lot of data that's important with just a few columns is pretty obvious, but it's just uh, something that I like to do. So 
Uh, then the next thing is to sort by average monthly searches, either low to high or high to low. And that way we can remove any key phrases that we don't need and end up with a list of phrases that are relevant to us. And so that's how you'll use the uh, new Google Keyword Planner. The only thing that we really need um, for the Keyword Planner is that, uh, uh, I'll get back to it here, is the, uh, the first uh, section there where we enter keyword, search for keyword uh, and ad group ideas, and enter our keywords right here. And then just get ideas. Pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, that's uh, what we need. Now, uh, to find out more about what those numbers mean, that's something I'm sure Google's going to come out with more details and more data as time goes on. So we'll have to uh, search for that a little bit. There are some links here that will explain some of this for us so we can uh, look at that. Again, if you're using this to build the uh, um, paid campaigns for paid advertising, you might use this. Uh, link there. If not, then we're probably going to need just a little bit of data out of one of these other links to get an understanding of what, uh, uh, what we're using and how to uh, understand all of the data.